Right, I've had some messages from some people about <coughs> um, a side cutting. I've shown a few different ways. And um, they wanted a more of an in-depth close-up of how side cutting is done and how it's performed. So I've cut two um, examples. This one, my partner's going to do, Josh, he's recording. He's, he, he uses his left hand, so he's a left-hander and I'm a right-hander. So I thought it would be beneficial that I can show one, a left-hander doing it, and then me doing it in my right hand. So um, um, you can see exactly what I mean. So I'll put an L there, so you just know that's... And I'll put a right R there, so that's left and that's right. And I'll show you exactly um, how I do it, step by step. And Josh, if you can get close with the camera so they can see. I think they want to see more from the side. But just kind of hover around me so they can see. So you want to... Um, you want, a, you want a sharp blade. It's just essential to have a sharp blade. And the main thing is, for those that fit carpets, carpets should be fitted with tension. So you should stretch your room on first. So the room should be stretched on. So as you can see, if you look around, the room is stretched on. We've started fitting it here, but the room is all stretched on. So um, that basically means the room is under tension. And now I can kind of put the stretcher away I'll bring it out if maybe something comes off of the grippers, but if you go back to my previous video with the eyewitness and pushing on and holding it on, you can always do that. So now the room's stretched on, so... The main thing is, <clears throat> is that it does not come off. If it comes off, you can cut it short because um, it's just a bit difficult to handle like that. So now if you come from so the you've side... You've got to look at the blade. You can't be touching the skirting board and you can't be too far away. You gotta be just, I would say like a couple mil away from the skirting board. And you gotta, so when you're pushing, don't try and be as fast as like, you just wanna get over and done with it and you think by getting it, by doing it fast is by do, is doing it good. No, you just gotta, just keep an eye on it. So remember, do not pull. Cause if, if this comes off of the grippers, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be pulling away and you're going to be going more deeper into the carpet, which is which in result is going to make it more shorter. So you need to make sure that's on. That's on. That's on on the grippers. So what you can do is now you just push and just keep an eye on it. There's a bit of tape there, but ignore that. Just just keep an eye on it, and and the speed will come. So as you're going like that, just keep an eye on it, and there you go. It's on the grippers, you get your eye witness and you just tuck it in. And it's already hooked onto the grippers, so you're not gonna get no you're not gonna get no puffy you know when you when it's not hooked on, you get like a puffy it's just like a puffy puffy bit of carpet all around the perimeter. But when it's hooked on it's all it's as if it's stuck. And that that's how you do it. That is side kind. In another in a nutshell, that is side kind, it's just Key points is make sure the grip is hooked on, sharp blade, and be very, very vigilant when you're when you're cutting. And and the slow, take your time. And it will come. Speed will come. I'm gonna show you the left, I'm gonna show you Josh doing the left one now. See? It's Josh. Big man Josh. Look at them biceps, man. Right. So what Josh is doing now, you can see that's the left hand. So that's all hooked on. And he kind of whereas cut away from us. Yeah, he I yeah. He, you kinda I come in, him. he goes away. And I like I prefer Josh's way. He says I just don't I just can't do it like that to be honest. So I look at the way Josh does it now. So he kinda like hacks at it, if you know what I mean. So he's like if you can watch his wrist, if I can push that down a bit. He's like hacking at it, he's keeping away from the skirting board, which is essential because the last thing you want to do is damage the skirting boards. And he's hacking away at it and he's got a bit of a wrist movement there. And once again, the carpet's hooked on, beautiful, nice, consistent cut. And then, yeah, he just tucks it in. Um, once again, he's a left hander. He just 
putting his right hand on the gripper just to make sure that the carpet stays down. But yeah, you can see that. Now that, to me, looks like a nice finish. Left or right? It's essential you get your, um, your gripper spacing correct. So depending on the carpet, British standards state that you've got to have two thirds thick, so two thirds thickness of the carpet away from the actual skirting board. So that's, that's essential. You can't just, um, work on existing prep. Otherwise, one, you're not going to get a nice finish and two, you're just going to make your job harder. So that is, I hope, clarifying a few, a few issues that people had. Let me know in the comments. If you need anything else, any help, any advice, I'll try my best and get back to you. See you later, mate.